Joe. We're live. We're at the CTA Brown Line Station. Uh, where? About 4700 North Damon uh, in Ravenswood, of course. Uh, this is the hub of the neighborhood. Very popular uh, stop for uh, both single family homeowners, condo owners, renters. They hear it going over us right now. One of the things that's kept this neighborhood uh, fun is there is a lot of students in the area. When I was a student, I lived here uh, close to the Brown Line. Uh, it's easy downtown or even north uh, to some of the universities uh, like Northeastern Illinois University and North Park where the stop, the Kimball Brown Line stop is the end and it, it goes towards there. So it's kind of a nice uh, hub here uh, if you're going north or, or south. Here what we're looking at is again the, the Brown Line stop. Uh, it should be going under, over uh, renovation soon. Uh, you got your basic uh, little needs by the stop. Uh, Sweet Occasions is a wonderful dessert place. They also have breakfast sandwiches. A lot of people get something on the go, go right on the train. Uh, it's good Thai restaurants in the area as well. And of course, you gotta have your uh, budget pantry, pick up your smokes or whatever you're into, so. Is uh, smoking a lot in the neighborhood? I thought, uh, I thought it was banned almost. Well, it's not banned in the neighborhood. <laughs> but come January, there's gonna be a lot of happy parents. Uh, uh, all the bars and restaurants uh, banned smoking, and uh, so I gotta imagine it's gonna be a rush of strollers in some of the neighborhood places. Uh, should be good for business, though, I think. Uh, yeah, the rail uh, has been a popular uh, neighborhood eatery. In fact, it's been so popular it's expanding into uh, what was a former liquor store they owned, too. It used to be called Simply Ray's, I believe. Um, yeah, a lot of noise here. Uh, we are in kind of a busy district. Uh, but it used to be called Simply Raise, I think. It was bought by kind of a, a popular bar owner, or a successful bar owner anyway. And uh, they renovated it, and it's been a hot spot ever since. It's doing well. Now, and just to give an idea of the real estate, uh, we have a home for sale here. It's for 500. Uh, it's a standard lot right on Damon, uh, very close to transportation. Uh, it's a total rehab or a tear down. Uh, 500 uh, is, is about the minimum, maybe 450 if you get lucky, you get a, a, a lot like that. I uh, have a new dance studio here uh, that's so been... Let, let me stop oh, you Oh, go there. ahead, please. Let yeah. me stop you there. What you're telling me is basically a lot price here is 450 Yeah, I would I would imagine, especially on Damon. Uh, it could go higher when you get into the residential streets. So, uh, But if we go down and uh, we see a finished home, it's actually, it was uh, a very uh, nicely done renovation of a five to six bedroom home. Uh, it's a wider lot, about 30 to 35. Uh, just sold for 925 so it is a large home, uh, but that's a big number for Damon Avenue right here. That's a three-story, it looks like, or two and a yeah, half story? Yeah, three, three-story home. Uh, it might have some sort of coach house in the back, and I think it was sort of a lodging home before the renovation. This is indicative of what's going on in the neighborhood as far as price points and, uh, and housing. Uh, this is an eight-unit condo conversion. Uh, it just was marketed about 30 days ago. They've sold five out of the eight units. And the minimum price in here for a two bedroom, two bath with parking is about 315,000. And they're not very big units. So I'd say about a thousand square feet with parking gets you that in a new conversion. Uh, and then this is on the, of course, a uh, busier area, busier street. You get into the residential streets, we're looking at uh, for a new conversion with parking minimum 350. Uh, and then it goes uh, quite higher than that. So. Does that 350 get me any more square footage than it would here? Or? Uh, it, it can get you uh, a little more square footage. Uh, you'll have to maybe ditch the parking. Uh, you can actually get some larger two bedroom, one bath units, uh, 1,200, 1,300 square feet. Because there's a lot of vintage conversions, so the square footage varies quite a bit. Uh, however, these I think uh, go from about 1,000 to 1,200 square feet, depending on the unit. Um, I know for a uh, fact uh, the top floor units caught about 339 and that may or may not include parking, I'm not sure.